All right, my name is Andy Hamm. I'm a National Event Supervisor, and I'm here to show about Hovercraft today. Hovercraft is coming in in Division B and C next year. It was around uh, last uh, in 2018. Very similar, but there are uh, a couple of differences, and we're going to go through what an event supervisor and a student will see for hovercraft. First of all, when we're looking at the track here, we're looking at, this is done on a floor, but this could be done on a surface. Uh, we recommend melamine works really well. Uh, but what we've got is we've got our track here. We've got tape lines for the start and finish. We've got foam at the end, a cushion for a stop. We've got the photo gate system, and right here I'm using vernier photo gates, and these, the lights are off, which means that they are just off a little bit. So I'm just going to, or the lights are on, which means the system is off just a little bit. So all I need to do is line, there we go, almost, there we go. And when the light goes off for these photo gates on top, right here, that light, that means that they are ready to go. So that one is now off. The one down here is on, which means the laser is just a little up there. Now it's off. And what we have are lasers that go into these external holes on the photo gates. Now, the event supervisor will provide the track. And in this case, it's a floor and we've got two by fours on the sides. And then what we're going to do is the, event, the student will present their hovercraft. And right here, we have a hovercraft and it must fit within a 40 centimeter cube when levitated. So we've got this all set up and it has to have a start switch and it's powered by no more than 12 volts. We have 10 AA batteries that are rechargeable here, each being 1.2 volts. This gets set up behind the start line and then a block is put in front of the hovercraft, right in front of the start line like so, and we're, okay. And then that will be pulled when it's ready to start. All right, so what we do is then we ask the students to go ahead and start this. And then the hovercraft will come up to the front. Three, two, one, go. And the hovercraft gets to the end, in which time it is turned off. Now, it would probably be better to have the end secured, but again, we didn't damage anything. Now, the hovercraft went down pretty quickly. The ideal time for Division B is between 10 and 20 seconds, and Division C is between 6 and 26 seconds at uh, different intervals based on the level of competition. It is very important that all of the fans are guarded, including on the bottom side, it is also guarded. There must be a dowel within three centimeters of the front. It can be on the corner, it can be anywhere up front. The car can have, this is a fixed skirt that can make contact with the ground, but it can't have anything intended to contact the ground like wheels or something like that, which would instead turn this into a vehicle as opposed to a hovercraft. Up to two motors right here. These are both run off of one circuit. You could have two different circuits, one for each motor. Competitors get uh, eight minutes to complete either, get either three incomplete runs or a successful run and then their final run. A successful run is a run that gets all the way down the track like what you just saw here. If you don't get all the way down the track, you only get a partial distance score. Now, event supervisors must also provide a ramp that some teams may elect to use at tournaments to help them get down the track if they couldn't. So then you would start it just like you did earlier and put this behind here and then start this and then it would go all the way down the track, but it would come off the ramp giving it a little extra energy to start with. There is a penalty uh, in the distance score for this, but it is better you get a complete run than if you get all the way down the track or maybe a little farther down the track. 
but the ramp is again provided by the event supervisors not the teams and it's for anybody to use and the dimensions are here this is just a simple ramp there